Hey guys, welcome to the channel. My name is Troy, I'm bold, and I collect watches. Today's wristwatch check is the Seiko Flightmaster. And today's video, I'll be showing six watch straps sent in kindly to the channel from the Trendhim online fashion store. They sell men's accessories like belts, bags, but they also sell watches and watch straps. I have already reviewed one of their watches, which is this one here, the David Tide Submariner style quartz watch. If you'd like to see the review video on there, just pop up to the link and watch that video and tell me what you think. So anyway, these guys, they were so impressed with the video I'd done on that video, uh, on that watch, sorry, and basically approached me to use some of my footage. And I said, yes, of course, yeah, no worries. Um, and I cheekily asked, could I have some straps to feature on my channel? And yeah, lo and behold, they were happy to assist and they've sent me these watch straps. I've been sent them for free of charge. It took about three days from Denmark here to the UK. Each watch strap I will show you, I'll show you on different watches from Seiko, Citizen, Orient. And I'll also pop a link in the description below to basically allow you to buy each one of these straps. I'll show you a little picture up here somewhere of each watch that I show you and which strap it is. So anyway, let's get cracking. The first strap we have is this black leather, genuine leather from Sizemont. Quick release pins with this beautiful stitching. It's almost got a wax feel to this watch strap. This one I had came in a 22 millimeter. We've got a, what is this stainless? I would assume this is a stainless steel buckle. Highly polished. We have our two keepers there. Some more stitching just at the buckle and some more stitching just there at the end. As you can see, genuine leather. The nice thing is all these straps here actually come with the uh, pins, which I found rather useful. So you don't have to worry if you do lose any when you're putting your watch strap on. But yeah, this one here, beautiful black leather, like I said, with a wax feel to it. Uh, watch strap. This one I will show you in a second with, I believe, two watches. Yes, I'm going to show you that one with two watches. Trend him have a couple of brands on their website, which I will be showing you with these watch straps. This one here is, where were we? The Seismont which again is their own brand. Don't know if you can see it there, stamped. And they make a range of watches on the Trend Him store as well. So that's the first strap. Let's move him out of the way. The second strap we have is this beautiful tan, what are we? Genuine leather again. Another strap from Seismont. Again, we have our quick release pins. We've got this tan, they call it tan. I would call it more of a brown. That to me is more of a tan. But yeah, the description online is they have this as, as a tan, but this is a soft feel, slightly padded as you can see, which I like. And this one here comes in 20 millimeter, this one. The buckle again. Highly polished, it's pretty thick, it's, it's not a bad buckle. Um, again, like I said, I would probably assume this is stainless steel. But again, this side's padded. I know that's going to wear very, very nice and wearing very comfortable. And that again is gonna be shown on two watches. So I'll just move those out of the way. Another brand, available on the Trend Him store, is the L Loose Leon or Luck Leon. I would go with Luck Leon. Got a brush buckle there. This one again, almost has a wax feel to it. Feels absolutely gorgeous. Lovely thick strap as well. 
Again, two keepers on that one. The name is all stamped at the bottom. Quick release pins again. But yeah, this one. Already got some nice wear and scratching on here. Very, very nice. Beautiful stitching here. And the, the stitching is very, very well done. I will, when I go to edit this video, you'll see some little pictures pop up with all the prices of these straps. And again, if you did want to buy any, they're not affiliate links or anything like that. Um, I've just been kindly gifted these straps for review. But this one out of the three I've shown so far, I think is my favorite. It just feels very, very good quality, very thick, but very flexible. Again, this is gonna be shown on two watches. You might be wondering what these boxes here are to my left. There's more straps in those. Those are all gift box, which is rather impressive. But yes, again, this can be shown on two watches. Links will be down at the bottom. While, while you're uh, wanting to browse down the bottom, if you wouldn't mind giving a thumbs up. That helps the channel. A subscription, even better. Uh, keep up to date with all the latest watch reviews I do. Any watch straps that I have in future, uh, future giveaways. Um, we're approaching 500 subscribers, so I am planning on probably doing a giveaway for that. And again, everyone who, if you're watching, if you're subscribed, if, yeah, thank you. Thank you so much for the support so far. Anyway, what's going on? I'm waffling on. Here's three boxes with more straps. Uh, I've got a list here. I keep looking to my left, so I do apologize. I've got it in order which ones I want to show. So we've got the Fabrice Fraser, the Fowler. Now, I've been on the Trendim site to have a look at some more of their watches, and this, this Fowler or Fowler uh, brand, they also do watches for as well. But this is a lovely design box. There you go, designed in Denmark. So for a gift, I think this would be quite impressive. Lovely little carry bag, which I think even just for traveling with your watches, that's quite handy. I think that's a good idea. Um, I have opened these, confession time, this isn't a live unboxing or anything like that, I have opened these um, just to check everything over was, was okay with the order. Make sure everything was fine and dandy and which watches I was gonna put them with. All these straps will be featured with two watches. Um, when I opened them, there were staples in here, so be careful if you do order and you wanna just pull your strap out, you could run the risk of scratching some of that leather. So yeah, just be very careful and remove the staples. That's what I made sure I did. Um, just wouldn't want anything bad to happen to your new straps. So I move this box out of the way. Now this, it's got a perforated design to it. Not as thick as the other straps, but again, still pretty bendy. Still feels quality. Um, this is a genuine lever as well. We've got yeah, a stainless steel buckle on there. That's stamped, which is nice. Again, still pretty thick. Two keepers with some little bit of finishing on there, which is nice. Stitching on these, you can just see the stitching's done to a very good quality. Now I don't have many watch straps and I can see why these sort of fetch the prices they do. I've had some off AliExpress which weren't fantastic. Um, I've also had some watch gecko ones which, which are phenomenal. Um, these sort of sit just below I would say watch gecko quality. Um, but f a lot better than what I've had from AliExpress. Far better to be honest. So that's the Fowler. TND, which I would assume just stands for Trend Him. Nothing designed on the back, but again, a, a lovely, a lovely gift box. If you were buying, little canvas bag again with a pull string. Now, if you're an Apple Watch wearer or know someone who does wear an Apple Watch, there was a reason why I bought this strap because, again, you've got your quick release pins. It's very reminiscent of what you would wear on an Apple Watch. It feels exactly the same with that silicone. Me personally, I'm not a fan of these straps, but I wanted to just 
bring one onto the channel that if you are a fan or you know someone who, who likes to wear an Apple Watch because obviously they have many features, but maybe because they feel comfortable with these straps, you could get them wearing a strap and have a traditional watch. So we'll see what this looks like. This one here, yeah, 22 millimeter. Um, I will have all the sizes coming up when I put the straps on the, on the watches for a little showcase at the end. So there's that one. And we have, the last one is 21 mil. They do have a lot of 21 mils on their websites. So I have one watch, which is the Orient Bambino. Again, you've got your little canvas bag. So good for packing your watches if you're traveling. A little bag again. Polished buckle. This one, as soon as I open this, I can smell the leather. It just smells like a good quality strap, if that makes sense. Genuine leather there on the back. Tapers down beautifully. The stitching. Very, very high quality. No mist stitching on there at all. Slight padding. You can just see, not much. Very subtle. Quick release again. This is the Trend Him. It's obviously their own brand. A lot of these I would suspect are their own brands, but this is the brand name of obviously of the website. Two keepers again, what have we got? Small detailing. Lovely little stitching along the top there. More of a reddish brown. I don't know if it's the same brown as this one, is it? Yes. Yes. I would probably say it's the same. No. The stitching's better on this one. So it is actually a different strap. Anyway, you don't want to hear me talking and just showing you the straps. You want to see them on some watches. So let me show you. So here it is on my Pagani chronograph. Looks absolutely beautiful on this. Goes very well with the white dial, the black text. Just a lovely, lovely design. I will do um, some wristwatch, uh, wrist shots even at the end. There he is on the Pagani Designs chronograph. on the Spinnaker Fluce. Spinnaker put some decent straps on their watches, there's no denying. This one comes in a brown, but I really, really like it with this black. That is just absolutely stunning. Goes really well with that bezel and this dial, but do let me know in the comments below whether you prefer it on the Spinnaker or whether you prefer it on the Pagani. So you might remember the Timex Automatic, the Waterbury. This is already featured on the channel with a review and you'll see it came with a mesh, which I wasn't a massive fan of. I did say I wanted to change the mesh, but I was actually surprised with how well it fitted. But look at it on this strap, look at it. What an improvement. It has just made this, just ignore the name on the dial and you would think this is a lot more expensive than what it actually is. Very happy, very happy with this one. Great combination, this black and this brown works surprisingly well. Pop in the comments, let me know what you think.
Here it is on the latest collection. The Mockingbird. Goes very well with that green dial and this dark brown. It's a great combination. Look at that dial. Bounces off just like the strap. Look at that. In harmony, just bouncing off that watch. Yeah, so I had this one for my 40th birthday, actually. I didn't do an unboxing or anything like that, but probably will feature it on the channel in a review. Obviously, I'm not going to say it's a, a bad watch because I got it as a present, and, well, basically, it isn't a bad watch, but I think it looks better on its original strap, but still, this is a good combination all the same. So let me know, does it look better on this one or the Timex? on my Timex Expedition Scout. This one, again, is featured on the channel. Really popular video, actually, for quite a cheap little watch. This is pretty pretty well liked. I like it, uh, hence why it's still in the collection and it's an absolute strap monster. But on here, it fits the field watch vibe really well. Because of the finishing on this leather, like the grain and everything, it just works so well with the brush. This is actually a brass case, the brushed back brass case. So happy with that one. my Proxima Great Wave off Kanagawa dive watch and it even works this strap even works so well with a dive watch you'd think because of the color and the style it would be for field watches but I think that matches really really well great combination again let me know below which is your favorite out of the two better what do you think I think it works very very well especially with this black in a rotating bezel and this style of strap really happy with that combination My Citizen Field Watch. It's giving it a more sportier vibe. Again, another great combination. I think that looks really great. This one's also featured on the channel, only an unboxing, not a review. A review will hit the channel in the very near future. You'll see this came on a brown strap. Again, I think with this dial color, it just works better with the black. This blue and black combinations very very nice indeed so what's your favorite from the two let me know
Okay, so I know I was critical of this one. This is the Apple style watch strap. <laughs> it works really well with the SKX007. Like really, really well. Really shocked at how well that's worked out. It's made it really light as well. And I actually prefer this than the rubber strap it was it has originally come on. Yeah. Good combo. So another job well done. Here it is on my Spinnaker Croft. Not such a great combination. I think it would definitely work better with a black dive watch, but I thought I'd show you it on something slightly different. Not a fan. Let me know if you do like this one below, or if you preferred it on the Seiko. Now, this Spinnaker is actually featured on the channel before on a full review. So uh, if you want to see it, just look for Spinnaker Croft. That's what this model is. I actually have two of these. I love this watch so much. But there it is. And there it is. 21mm genuine leather trend in strap. Like I said before, there's a lot of 21mm straps available on the trend him store, which is really good because we do know there's not a lot of outlets that sell 21mm. But that looks absolutely stunning. It will only be featured on one watch because I only have one watch with 21mm. But that brown with the cream dial. Great combination.